The Syrian conflict is one of the defining events of the 21st century. A revolution turned civil war that's transformed into a battlefield for rival powers in the region and beyond. Caught in the crossfire from all directions have been Syria's people. In the initial years of this now decade-long war, they heard repeated condemnation of Syria's Bashar al-Assad and his regime's forces from the international community. Reaction was limited to words. Civilians were coming under constant attack. Any sense of normal life had been shattered. But then came this threat of outside intervention from the US. A red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. A year later, that line was crossed after a sarin gas attack in eastern Ghouta. The world blamed Assad. The US didn't carry through on its threat. Instead, America's Syrian policy appeared to focus entirely on eliminating the terrorist group Daesh. And then came the official word that Syria was someone else's problem. And by the way, we're knocking the hell out of ISIS. We'll be coming out of Syria like very soon. Let the other people take care of it now. The US, Russia, Turkey, Iran and Israel have all been drawn into the conflict. With each entry into the war, the complexity of the crisis has only grown. A key turning point took place in 2015, when Russian President Vladimir Putin chose the path of direct military intervention. Russian boots on the ground and Russian air power from the skies ensured Assad remained in power in Damascus. The Russians framed their air campaign as a form of assistance so the regime could eradicate terrorist groups. But Russian bombing was used to devastating effect to help regime forces retake rebel-held cities like Aleppo. While Moscow and Tehran have backed Assad, Ankara has played a pivotal role in supporting opposition groups. At times, that's placed Turkish-backed rebels and Russian-supported regime forces on either side of the battlefield. But it's also meant that these powers have been at the center of negotiations to broker a political solution. Отмечу, что благодаря усилиям России, Ирана и Турции удалось предотвратить распад Сирии и появился реальный шанс положить конец многолетней гражданской войне. The intensity of the fighting has dialed down, but the war is not over. Suriye'nin siyasi birliğinin ve toprak bütünlüğünün muhafazası sahada sükunetin tesis edilmesi ve ihtilafa kalıcı bir siyasi çözüm bulunması temel önceliklerimizdir. At this 10 year mark, lasting peace seems as elusive as ever. While foreign powers will continue to play a central role in how this conflict unfolds from here, ultimately, it's Syria's people who will bear the enduring scars of this war. Natalie Pohonen, the newsmakers.